Hey, so um, this one is the 3D sensor camera, and this one is the webcam, and they're arranged so they're kind of skewed from each other. You can kind of see them in the image. Um, so basically, like the, the PS3 eye is looking across the, um, the ASUS. And then we basically run this calibration routine. Um, this, this patch uh, might be a bit different, but um, in here the devices are up here. Um, the first thing is to make sure you've got both the Connect and Webcam talking to the patch, which was a bit of a fiddle before, but seems to be working well now. Um, and inside there, basically, oh, oops, it should be connected. Um, inside here, you get your direct share devices, and then you need to put that in the device ID here. And this gives the images for the, for the connect. So that's the, um, the world image that comes out, the XYZ coordinates, and the um, and the, the, the visible images. So that's the visible image from the connect, the visible image from the webcam. And then these goes into find boards, and find boards pretty much does everything. So inside here, um, a little bit of a mess. Um, but what it does is it um, looks for chessboards in these two images and then it'll draw them out on top of these views and it'll make a beep every time that it's got successfully them in both views and it'll queue them up and then it'll calibrate the cameras and it's a two stage calibration um, the first stage is here where it'll calibrate the webcam to get the in in intrinsics and then it'll pass it into a second calibration here which is where it finds the extrinsics of the camera um, and then it passes those out as view, projection, and intrinsics. Um, and it also draws out the 3D markers. So if I, if I save that, I'm just going to move it out of the way. As you can see here, I should have a connect view there. That's strange. So just gonna um, uh, take right, uh, I see. Um I know, I'll just leave that like it. It's, it's sending an empty spread at the moment, so you're not seeing that. So anyway, I, I basically check the chessboard out, and then when it's in the configurations, I'll ping. And you can see these coming in on this world view here, and then um, you can see a count down here on find boards. And it's, it's got two now, and basically it was aiming for like something like, um, like about ten. I'll try and get it. The range. If your chessboard's different from this, then the settings for it will type of draw. I'm sorry, the fine boards, you have to set the, the count and the spacing of the, of the pattern. See how many I've got. It's Twelve. Um, also, if you're too close, then the Connect can't see the chessboard in the 3D view, which means it can't use those points that are on in the 3D calibration. And of course, your chessboard has to be in both views. And then um. Basically, up here, it'll tell you whether or not it's seeing it in that one view. Um, it does trap on 
if base you can't find anything, you'll just keep on trying to look to get the next frame. It's kind of a bit of a threading issue. But kind of what paradigm to use for this? Um, anyway, so now I've got 14. I'm just going to hit do here, and it takes a little while, and then it kicks out the calibration. And once it's done that, you will actually see the projected texture coming out. So this is now the projected texture. So it's showing the frustum of the um, of the uh, down here. It's showing the frustum of the PlayStation 3 out, and it's showing the texture projected. Now, at the moment, we still have to add this fudge factor in, which is also true in RGBD toolkit. And um, I wasn't expecting it to appear here, but it does. And the fudge factor is in view projection. And it's usually just a shift in the Y. Um, and it's basically a translation in projection space but you'll see that basically it applies to the whole scene so my hand is calibrated well even though the um, even though I applied this fudge factor okay so um, I'll try and package this up Ciao.